Hey guys, so it's April 21st okay. on Saturday and we're at Christie Park in downtown. It's near Koreatown and Earth Day is tomorrow. So we're just, um, we're here with the youth group and um, we're picking up garbage in this beautiful park. There's like a swimming pool and baseball bat and like community fire pit and like garden everywhere. And, and then we met this super cute puppy. You see that lady there? I was like, lady that thing. And then the little figure running in the back behind the tree. And she brought it over to us and it's a mix of a, what is it? Cock Cocker spaniel and a poodle. Cocker spaniel and poodle. And it was like, it had like curls and everything and it was super adorable. And it was so hyper and like it always wants to play with the ball. Like, ah, look at that, it's so adorable! And then I'm, um, the host is called Kat, Katerina. Yeah. Katerina, she's so sweet, and she has so much like, insights about how we should care for the earth, and she's just really nice and fun to talk to. She's just a sweet person, and she's older than us. But then, <laughs> yeah. But like, and like, and there was like a few more other people who came out today, and like, they have like so much, I feel like they have a broader perspective of life and experiences so like and they older. and they like read a lot of different articles so they have they can make connections to a lot of things oh my god i need you guys to see that <laughs> look at them they're so cute oh my gosh our way here we went to sdc and we subway down yeah, here and no like ride. the host was kind of late so we were like where is that everyone and the korean town is down there so we're gonna go later we have our gloves and our bags and we got a few pieces of garbage so far those are the other people <laughs> and like it just feels so nice today like i should have wear a lighter jacket and i just feel so good to be outside talking to different people and like i'm just having a great day so far okay. such a nice morning But yeah, I was talking to Marie about like this is like the cons like the aspects that I love about journalism. Even like simple as going downtown and like going to these events, talking to people, talking to them about their perspectives, their ideas, what they're passionate about. It's just really like it makes me feel really good and because I love talking to people and it's just it's a good feeling to meet different people, especially because in Markham it's a lot of people from different uh, from. Chinese culture or Asian culture like coming down here and like seeing all these friendly these people, white people. <laughs> yeah and from different cultures as well it's just nice to get to know them you know and then they're down there on the little trail yeah so yeah that's what I love about journalism asking questions and like picking their brains and experiencing these kind of events you know oh I have to send my streaks y'all <laughs> We're walking down Koreatown and we're trying to find a restaurant to eat at. But I'm pretty sure most of them are pretty good because it's Koreatown and had it before. has some great bibimbap. You can what? Korean bibimbap. I've never heard of that. You didn't, you don't know what bibimbap is? I don't. I'm sorry. I'm going to Bibimbap <laughs> is like the literally the most basic Korean dish ever. I'm so sorry. It's just All I know are like it's just like noodles. it's just so like a rice rice in a hot stone pot oh. with a lot of mixed vegetables in it. Oh no. <laughs> she sure. I'm so classy. Okay. So Marie, what's your like what was your experience with interviewing the host of this event and helping up with Earth Day today. I like how Lily's interviewing me. <laughs> um, I really enjoyed it. I'm glad that she was so open to answering my questions. And she's like super passionate about the environment and the faith, which is like a really nice mix. Um, and yeah, I'm glad that she was able to collect a couple people to like also help out, which is really nice. I think this was it the was restaurant successful. I ate at before. You wanna, you wanna go in here? Do you wanna? Yeah. All right. We get vegetarian. No, no, no Marie. Regular. She was like, "Why is there something that's <laughs> green and why is there something that's red?" Let me look. Oh, maybe because it, this is not spicy. This is spicy. <laughs> and then yeah, I think I'm gonna get this one, the goji soup and hot stone hot rice. I don't know if I'm saying this right, but I always get bibimbap at Korean restaurants, but I never get soup, so I'm gonna try it out. Oh, they have such good deals too. Oh my god, Happy. do you want to share fried dumplings? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, I got my 
food, they have purple porridge, and then they put like hot water in here so you can get like the little eggs on it. And then I have bogani beef soup, and these are our appetizers. And now I'm gonna try the purple rice. I think it's gonna be really good. I have some like vegetables here with me from the appetizer, so. I can't really get the taste of the purple forest yet, but we have kind of soup. Mm. This has a lot more flavor in it. Oh, I think you're supposed to put this with this because it has more flavor in it. See, I, I'm not Korean enough. Because <laughs> like Markham doesn't really have good Korean food. So if you do this. Mmm, that's what I'm talking about. That's a lot, lot better. How are you enjoying your first vegan Bob experience? It's so good. And it's different. Mm -hmm. And it tastes pretty healthy. <laughs> yeah, it is really healthy because it's like rice with a lot of mixed vegetables. Like how much vegetable there is in this. Oh my gosh, this is more than I eat in like a month. So good. And we also got, oh, I mean, beef dumplings. You should try them. What's your rating of this? Mm. Different, it's new. 8.8 <laughs> 8 out of 10. I would rate this 10 out of 10 because the quality <laughs> and the price and the proportions. That's true. It's like ocean. It's ocean like just cool. this, this, and this. What's like. Eleven dollars, like girl. That's You're right though. The portions are really good. I'm, pump, I'm boosting my my mark to ninety six. Ninety nine point six. Oh wow wow. wow. <laughs> Not as soft, I like this one more. This one. Thank you, have a So nice cute. Day. Are you looking for something in particular? I'm excited. Look at that. So cute. Everything is so colorful here. Oh my gosh. Is this a little Kirby? Oh, so she doesn't look that great. Look at the hair, but. She wants to hold? Okay. Look at these cute little plants. Oh my gosh. These are fake though, but these are real. Look at them. They're so adorable. Ah, I want one. Look at the aesthetic of the store, man. There's a cute guy up there on the left. Dad, oh, that's my dad. Everyone. <laughs> For us, this is such a cool record store. But they don't have they don't have the actual players though. No problem. Guys, I found Bruno Mars, and there's like John Mayer too. These are like ah. Now I want. Oh, they don't. Are they run? They ran out of John Mayer. But these are so cool. I'm so shook. I'm shaken. <laughs>
and we are walking to Kensington Market and the breeze is so nice and it's, it's like finally spring. Yeah, it's finally spring. And then Marie Marie was just we we're just talking about how the neighborhood is so nice and peaceful. Like look at it. So nice. something. But you can't really hear anything. You're just kinda like taking the nice breeze of the weather and yeah. You don't even hear the sounds of the city. It's like dead. Yeah. It's kind of Okay, stop for a moment. If we don't say anything, can you do? I hear like an airplane. <laughs> That's how nice it is. How did you feel? How did you find Koreatown? It was really cute. There were a lot of really cute aesthetic shops, and you could feel the aesthetic vibe. <laughs> Everyone was a hipster in there. Yeah. So apparent. So so apparently, this is a park, and it's just literally this little sad area. Oh my gosh. Go through it. This is where we should. Oh, this is such a cool like thing. It's like vines. Like, oh, that's a scroll, isn't it? Like a it's catapult. like it's like a vi vines that make up a scroll. That's cool. I don't really know, but that's is that entirely graffiti? Cheers. How should I scream? It's so good. I'm gonna eat mine. My... I got caramel delici gelato at Dolce. It's ice cream shot. Hey guys, so we finally made it to Scarborough Town we Center. Back. We're just exploring the okay. Disney Star before going back home. And since some subway stations were closed, we had to like take the no, just take the bus to all the way to Main Street Station, and they're so crowded. And but we're, we got off the bus early. We're so dumb. <laughs> and we had to walk like only like seven minutes back to the station. And then we took had two transfers, and we're finally here. And I wanted to look at the sum sums. So yeah, they're so cute. Hi, it's a Marie the Cat. So I you know. This is Marie oh my god, this is Marie? Yeah. What, what cartoon is this from? Aristocats. I never watched that movie. Oh, I never watched that either. <laughs> I just know her name so is Marie. Cute. I have the Sum Sum at home and I use it as a stress ball. And I wanted to get another one. The Minnie Mouse one is really cute. Or is it Mickey? I don't know. Dory! To me. Oh my gosh, if, if, if someone like did a proposal using these two, it would be so adorable. Like, I would cry. Oh my gosh. Will you be the mini to my Mickey at prom? No. <laughs> Alright, that was our adventure downtown. Thanks for watching and catch you guys next time. Bye! <laughs> okay, that was really lame. Never that doing was, that again. That was